The bird species that we will release now is not from Indonesia. Even so, in the 90 seconds, these birds were popular among bird lovers here. You could even say they could be found easily in the bird market at that time. However, the situation began to change when avian influenza spread. Since then, due to the import ban, the presence of these birds in the Indonesian bird market and wildlife has drastically reduced. Therefore, Irfan and his team brought this species into the aviary. Not to revive their popularity in the bird market, but to breed them so that in the future they can be released in the wild in Indonesia. The name of this bird itself is the red-whiskered bulbul. It's the aviary! Hi! Hi! Greetings, guys! Here now, there are two kinds of birds, which have similarities, but their origins are different. Yes, it is true. The bird on the left is the red-whiskered bulbul, while the one on the right is the ruby-throated bulbul. The bird on the right is from Sumatra, while the one on the left is from Malaysia, so they are still related. Their place of origin is still closed then. Moreover, the ruby-throated bulbul comes from Mandaling Natal, North Sumatra. The average bulbul is docile, huh? Yes, you could say so. They are easy to tame and easy to get along with us. That's right. Even if our environment is beautiful and not polluted, these kinds of birds can live around us. Okay, okay. Okay. Let's just let this bird from Sumatra rest first. But we have to let go of the other bird now. Okay. Okay. Let's release the red whiskered bulbul, which came from Malaysia. Red Whiskered Bulbul The Red Whiskered Bulbul or Pycnonotus jocosus is a medium-sized songbird about 20 centimeters long, including the tail. Their backs are brown, and the underparts are white. Their long tail is white-tipped, and the vent area is red. Their heads are black, with dark chest bands, white cheeks, and thin black mustache lines. But the most prominent feature of these birds, first, is their tall, pointed black crest. The second is the small red patch under their eyes. No wonder they are called the red-whiskered bulbul. Adult birds, both male and female have the red patch. They both look alike, so it's quite difficult to tell them apart. On the other hand, it is quite easy for us to distinguish between adult and juvenile birds. Juvenile birds do not have red patches. Their crest is also slightly gray. Red-whiskered bulbuls are native birds from South and Southeast Asia, from Bangladesh, India, and Nepal, to Thailand, Vietnam, Cambodia, Laos, Myanmar, and Malaysia. Apart from these countries, they can also be found in southern China. Unfortunately, they are not found in Indonesia, not even on the island of Sumatra, which is adjacent to the Malay Peninsula. They are non-migratory birds, but they have been introduced to various countries, such as Australia, the United States, the United Arab Emirates, Saudi Arabia, 
and Singapore. Hawaii. In the wild, they live in forest edges, open forests, scrublands, and wetlands. However, they can also live with humans in farms, gardens, creeks, parks, residential areas, and backyards. They even often perch on power lines. The red-whiskered bulbul is not timid around humans. They usually spend time perching while singing and looking for food. They are noisy birds that can produce a variety of melodious songs. They even like to make noises while eating. Red-whiskered bulbuls are often found in pairs or in small groups of three to five birds. However, they can group up to 50 birds in search of food. These birds are omnivores. Their diet consists of fruits, berries, seeds, nectar, and insects. Their beaks are small, making them unable to eat large foods. So they will only eat large fruits, only if they are too ripe or have been pricked by other birds. And although they mostly forage in the trees, they are able to catch insects in flight. They also often eat yellow oleander, a plant that is toxic to mammals. Besides, these birds are known as plant seed dispersers. In general, red-whiskered bulbuls travel together, mainly foraging. But when the breeding season arrives, they will disperse in pairs to build nests. In the courtship display, the male bird will approach his prospective partner and then flap his wings and bow. Then the two birds will raise and lower their crests repeatedly. The red-whiskered bulbul's nest is shaped like an open cup, made of grass, roots, leaves, and bark, which is placed on a low branch of a tree or bush. Uniquely, both parents can feign injury as a way to distract predators from their nests. In the nest, the female red-whiskered bulbul will lay two to four pale pink eggs with purplish-red spots, which she will then incubate for about 12 days. Once the eggs hatch, the males will help the females care for, protect, and feed their young. Initially, the children will be given insects and caterpillars, but their food will change to fruit as they get older. They can fledge when they are about 14 to 18 days old, although they will still be fed for a few days afterwards. The age of their life is about 11 years. Their conservation status is in the category of least concern according to the IUCN. They are popular aviary birds, but on the other hand, they are also popular as cage birds in Southeast Asia. And because of their chirping abilities, they are also often entered in bird chirping contests. Fortunately, their population is still large in the wild, and they have also been introduced to different countries. In Indonesia alone, there are not many breeders of these birds. Therefore, it is hoped that the red-whiskered bulbul in this aviary can find a partner as soon as possible. That's all the information about Red Whiskered Bulbul, and we hope this video can be helpful for you. See you in the next episode.